Stein, our expert on all these matters. A new world record has been set for the number of satellites sent to space on a single rocket. 143 payloads of all shapes and sizes rode to orbit on Elon Musk's SpaceX Falcon rocket that launched out of Florida. The number beats the previous record of 104 satellites. Can you imagine that? 143 satellites at one time. What else is going on in the skies? Let's check in with Dr. Sky, Stephen Cates. Hi, Stephen. Hello there, George, and we continue with space. Here's an update on the Chinese Chong'e 5 moon mission. After, George, the successful arrival of the spacecraft's return capsule with a skip reentry of valuable moon rocks on December the 16th, the Chinese spacecraft is now headed for a rendezvous with the sun. China's lunar exploration program now reports, George, that the Chong'e 5 craft is now some 890,000 miles from the Earth and moving towards the stable L1 Lagrange point in space for detailed observations of the sun. And the spacecraft may still have enough fuel to then move and investigate to another location, a more secure location called the L4 Lagrange point in space. And what will it do there? It will actually look for some elusive Trojan asteroids which harbor near that special point in space. Continuing at the space update, George, China's Tianwen Wen, this Mars mission enters Martian orbit around February the 10th, and a spectacular arrival, as we're all expecting that to be, with NASA's Perseverance spacecraft. George, we talk about astronomy here. That's one of the main subjects. And here's an interesting story from the New Horizons mission to Pluto and beyond. How dark is space, George? Isn't that an interesting story? Mm -hmm. You think it's pretty dark. Well, the New Horizons spacecraft leaves the orbits of many of the trans-Neptunian objects out in space, and it took images of what lies beyond in space, canceling out the light of distant stars and galaxies, and astronomers claim that some type of light still penetrates space. They've dubbed this, and I quote, the diffuse cosmic optical background. So where does this light come from? No one really knows. Some say that, George, it comes from the faint glow of galaxies far beyond the reach of our current imaging technology here on Earth and in spacecraft, and this could even be the elusive theoretical particle known as axions, a possible component of something so magical called cold dark matter. Wow, George, the universe gets more interesting each day, don't you think? We're wrapping up with the live sky. Elusive Mercury, George, is now at its best in the southwest after sunset, 19 degrees from the sun, the smallest of the major planets. Mars high in the south at sunset. Mars and the planet Uranus are close, some two degrees apart in separation. Find them by looking to the lower right of Mars on binoculars. The moon then moves on to its first full spectacular full moon of 2021, with the full wolf moon on Thursday at 2.16 p.m. Eastern Time. It will then move, of course, into our skies on Thursday evening in the constellation of Cancer. And finally, George, a new comet, the first one discovered, major one of 2021, C21A1, called Comet Leonard, may be a bright comet maybe like something like Comet uh, Neowise that we had last year. Mm -hmm. This will happen at the end of 2021. Dr. Sky naturally reminds everyone, always remember to keep your eyes to the skies. More information always at this particular website, theskylive.com. Email me at drskyshow at gmail.com. And simply, George, always grateful to be your navigator in the shows, the navigator on the highway to the heavens. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Sky. Makes you want to run out and get a telescope, doesn't it?